down the NHS, but the NHS will bring down the government. On Saturday night, I went to work um, and I was admitting a new patient um, when my friend, the only doctor we had on call for the entire intensive care unit, came round. Um, she looked awful. She was white as a sheet. She was shaking. I said, come in, come in quickly before my patient comes. We'll do your blood pressure. We'll check you out. She then collapsed. And to cut a long story short, she collapsed with exhaustion. She had been working. She worked a 50-hour week before she went onto the night duty uh, over the weekend. And she didn't do that for a laugh. She didn't do that uh, so that I had something to come here and tell you about. She did it because it had to be done. She did it because that is the type of person that she is. And it's the type of person that we all are and this government knows it for years this government have exploited the goodwill of NHS workers yes. for years we have acted as the physical and emotional shock absorber between our patients and the relentless austerity policies that are being imposed in the NHS it is unsustainable it's unsustainable for us it is unsustainable for our patients yes Hunt has got to go but if we want to see the back of his anti-NHS policies then we need to send a clear message to the government on the 4th of March. No to cuts, no to closures, no to privatisation, an end to the age of pay restraint for NHS staff that has lasted longer than World War II and for a fully funded, publicly owned, integrated health and social care service. Thank you. Since we're outside the Department of Health, to Jeremy Hunt and his government. When they came into power, they inherited a health service that was rated the best across the world in terms of efficiency, in terms of cost, and in terms of patient satisfaction. Six years later, we find ourselves in a situation where a disaster relief charity is calling our health service a humanitarian crisis. And this is their legacy. They will forever be remembered as the, the government that destroyed our NHS. Hello, my name is Jeeves. This is Pete. We are the co-chairs of the uh, Junior Doctors Committee. And um, I guess, you know, one of the things we've seen today, which is actually the one year anniversary of the first of the junior doctor strike, is exactly what so much of the frontline staff up and down the country have been saying all through this, which is that the cuts that we've seen to healthcare, to social care, to so many parts of what is there for the public, were inevitably going to result in this. Ultimately, this was a political choice by government to lead us to this point, to lead us to worsening patient care. Yesterday we, or the day before, we saw Jeremy Hunt talk about the four-hour wait. But in many ways, that was a bit of a red herring, it was a bit of a misnomer, when actually it is not just about our emergency departments. It is about congestion all the way through the system. It is about the, the fact that social care now is inadequate for the needs of our public. And that is something we have to address, start to finish in the patient's journey, to really be able to get to the root of this problem. Ultimately, the government can deny and try and squeeze more blood from a stone in finding efficiency savings. But ultimately, you cannot hide from a lack of funding and you cannot hide from a lack of resources. And what we're seeing now more clearly than ever is the public and their staff saying, united together, that this cannot go on. So thank you so much for being here tonight. like what we are seeing right now. You are not being told the truth about what is happening to our NHS. As a doctor on the front line, let me tell you, it is being broken up, sold off and privatised under our very noses and you are being lied to about what is happening. We keep hearing the same story. Every year the NHS is in crisis. Let's blame an ageing population, increasing demand, health tourists, anyone else except who is really to blame, which is the government. The government. Yeah. By the end of this decade, the NHS will have seen nearly £40 billion pounds worth of cuts. We have some of the lowest number of beds, the lowest number of doctors, 
kilometers per person in Europe and finally this weekend it happened, people died. They are now dying on trolleys in understaffed, overstretched A&Es. Now I did not become a doctor to start blaming my patients for seeking yeah. health care. Yeah. I did not yeah. become a doctor to stand back and watch while patients suffer and die when I know that we can treat them. Yeah. The Red Cross were absolutely right when they called this a humanitarian crisis. Yeah. This year is the final stand to save our NHS and the one thing they didn't count on is that there is an army of us who will fight to defend it. Thank yeah. you. to remember that it was exactly a year ago that we first went on industrial action, we first went on strike as Duke Junior Doctors a year ago today. And we warned everybody, we warned this government, we warned the British public that this is what was going to happen. Thank you, all of you, for your support at that time. And we may well need your support again later in the year. Yeah. You got it. Got it. Got it. I'm not going to add a huge amount more to what Ashley has so ably said, but I think it's what's really illustrative is that all of you here have braved the wind, the snow, the sleet, and come here standing outside the Department of Health. And that is, speaks volumes about us here. However, there are many who are not here. And that also speaks volumes about the huge mountain we have to climb to persuade the rest of the British public, the rest of the health worker yeah. workforce about what's going on. So let's keep, let's start build, walking up that mountain, let's start planning in the pub straight after this. Yeah. Ashlyn and Yanis have said about the dire, dire threats to the NHS and I don't need to explain them to you because you are all by definition activists. You've all come here tonight, this miserable night, so you are the people who are going to go out and build this movement that we need to build because all of you are members of organizations, workplaces, communities, families, friends, neighbors, everybody. Go out there, help to build this movement to fight to defend the NHS and our focus is going to be this huge demo on the 4th of March. We've got loads the of government can try to bring down the NHS but the NHS will bring down the government. Yeah.